we'll move on to our next speaker now, Bertrand Ducastel. Um, Bertrand is a Schlumberger Fellow. He is the co-author of Computer Theology and his publications in Artificial Intelligence, Linguistics, Logic, Computer Engineering, as well as Drilling, Earth Modeling, and Geothermal Technology. He's based in Texas, although he emigrated out of France at some stage. Bertrand has a PhD in Computer Science from the University of Paris and is a, an engineer diploma from Ecole Polytechnique in France. Bertrand will, f oh, his title today is The Driller's Brain. So I think you need to sit back and uh, listen carefully. Bertrand will first highlight the importance of drilling, of drilling to, uh, sorry, to drilling of specific parts of the driller's brain. The thalamus, the posterior, motor, motor and prefrontal cortex and the gut, guts, he says definitely guts, and I think there's some guts in the presentation. He will then show in real-time computers supplementing these brain functions to give the driller additional awareness and means to perform. Finally, he presents some of the fundamentals of the science involved and their consequences for the future of human-centered drilling automation. Are you ready, sir? So my name is uh, Bertrand de Castel, and uh, I'm going to talk about the driller's brain, or uh, the way we say it in French, the driller's brain. <laughs> what, we, uh, what we see here is a brain, and uh, I'm not sure the drilling community is that used to uh, talking about the details of the brain, so I thought it would be good to uh, give you some reminders of what you have uh, up there. You know, uh, think of, I mean, that's the thing you have between your ears up there. What you're going to see is that the ears, that's that you, you see exactly what's happening. These are ears. These are the ears of the driller. This is the eyes of the drillers. And here we see the brain from the, size, from the side. And I'm only going to illustrate the part of the brains that we are going to talk about during the presentation as being very important to the actual process of uh, drilling. So why are we talking about the driller's brain? Because our industry is uh, in exactly in the stage that, we talked, uh, that was talked about by Claire at the very end of his presentation. Is that we have uh, very uh, experienced, smart, effective people, and they are uh, going to uh, be the driver of the drilling process for many decades to come. So what we have to understand is the um, uh, association of the driller and the computer, and that's what I'm going to do today. What you have in your brain, which will be important here, is uh, that's your eyes, the thing you have in the, in the front up there. But the processing of what's happening in the eyes actually happens here, on the back. That's called the visual cortex. Right there. Another part which will be important to talk about is the uh, thalamus. And I'm going to make it simple, so we're going to take, call it the thalamus, which is what you have here at the very center of your brain, in fact, very close to your primitive brain. And that's what's going to evaluate situations. That's what's going to tell you, you know, whether you need to flee, what you need to do, whether you need to love, that aspect of, uh, of uh, your being. On the top here, which is up there, you have the motor cortex, and that will be your actions. Right now, I'm using my motor cortex. Another part which is much more difficult to see, next to my ear, and that's what uh, we call the inferior temporal cortex, and we're going to see it's very important because that's where you, you form the concept of objects, of things you manipulate. And finally, we're going to end up with the prefrontal cortex, which is, which is here, which means here. And your prefrontal cortex is where you build uh, what we call a higher level of thought processes. 
So what we're going to see is how all of that plays. But while I was looking at the driller's brain, I thought I would take a coronal view. A coronal view is a view of the brain that you get from the back here. And you see it on the right of my... Here. And what do you see? Extremely, I was extremely surprised to find in the driller brain lollipops. <laughs> so I bought lollipops to show you that they are quite big. And you find in the driller's brain lollipops. So when I look at the driller's brain this way, I was thinking about finding anything but lollipops. You know, more like uh, things I cannot even name. You know, booze. You know, a lot of stuff that you would associate with finding, that you would find the driller's brain as a, in the reward system. I found lollipops. So since I found lollipops, and because I will, at the end of this presentation, I will match your brain, you as drillers, with a computer. So I will ask questions that you will have to answer, and while the computer is trying to solve them, you will have to try to solve them. And those who solve them are going to get what I know now is very important to you, a lollipop. So I don't have that many lollipops, but I hope that I will, buy, I will have enough for the people who can find the answer to the questions. On the right, on my, second, on my screen, you can see things that you are probably much more used to, uh, much more used to than the actual inner of the brain. What you see is what a driller, I don't have the pointer here. Here is what you see. The, what will be very important here is to, to notice there are two parts. The f top part on the right is what you immediately see. That's what the driller draws. That's the action of the driller on the wall. On the bottom left, you have what makes up the context, the environment in which the driller operates. And in the middle, you have the brain. So what the brain is going to do is a connection between the two. And what we're going to see is, first, how humans do it, in particular how drillers do it, what kind of problems they're trying to solve with their brain, and then how the computers can do it. So the first thing I'm going to look at, and I hope the video will work, we'll see. So what we have here is that we're going to see we take a driller being in the jungle, walk, walking in the jungle. 